Hello. We hope you're staying healthy and safe. Let's have a conversation about COVID-19. Hello, how are you? Hello, everyone. Okay, how did you find out about the coronavirus? Well, actually, I found out about the coronavirus through social media outlets of all places. Wow. I was actually scrolling through posts where I seen several posts concerning the coronavirus. And honestly, my first reaction is, is this fake news? Wow. I wasn't for certain if it was factual or fake fake news, so I needed to personally find out the truth. Wow. Uh, that's that's a good point. That's a good point, Miss mm -hmm. D, because I happened to be at work and it was like a rumor swirling around, oh, yes. and then all of a sudden, my director um, asked us to post a notice saying that at the end of the workday, mm -hmm. we would be closed until further notice. Mm -hmm. So once I got home, I started Googling, well, what's going on? Mm -hmm. what's and still, yet and still, I just couldn't believe what was going wow. on. Right. Yes. And I saw it on CNN. Yeah. I watch CNN a lot. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, what is this coronavirus? Things are being shut down. People are are getting sick. I'm like, what is going on? And then once the library shut down, yeah. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's hitting home. Yeah. So it is really, really scary. Yeah. And it still is. Yeah. It's like a bad movie. And when I go to places, I say, hey, this is like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in yes. yes. Well, how did it yes. make you feel when, when how, how did you feel? Wow. Your emotions and how did you feel when you saw I that? felt um, nervous, yeah. very concerned, yeah. of course, for my, my parents, right. yeah. and older yes. grandparents, yeah. and, and the children, people that I felt would be probably more susceptible yeah. to, to catching yeah. it. And then how can I and other family members jump in to help with groceries, take things to, yeah. to them versus them having to come out in the elements is what I call being in yeah. the elements. <laughs> yeah. And I feel really confused. Yeah. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. I'm like, what what do we do now? We just sit here and wait. Uh, how long how long are we gonna be off? Yeah. You know, it was a lot of confusion going on. Yes. And I even watching the news, I stopped watching the news so much. Oh, that I, I had to stop watching the news. I had to stop. I had to do the same right. thing. And I agree with you ladies. It was so much uncertainty. Yes. It was confusion. And there was also a lot of fear as well, too, yes. because yes. we are a people that like to know A to Z. Yes. And when we don't have the steps in between, it just makes us feel very uncertain and very vulnerable. Right. And mm -hmm, right. I, I agree, I agree. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, and then not being able to utilize your community libraries, if you don't have access yeah. to a computer or laptop yes. at home, then you really couldn't get the information, right. you know, additional information about the coronavirus right. slash COVID-19. Right. Mm -hmm. That's I'm very sorry. true. Mm -hmm. For the people who didn't have social media outlets, it was like they were left in the blind. So how could they have access to um, determine which information is factual over the rumor? So they had to at first go by hearsay right. until they turned on the until news media the outlets. Right. Mm -hmm. And it isolated, even though we all were at some point of isolation, yes. it isolated that group of individuals even, even more. more. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, because I haven't been sleeping well since. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> Ditto! Ditto! You know, I have to chime in on this. I think we all have irregular sleeping yeah. patterns. Not to mention eating. Yeah. Right. Don't even mention that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're not going to talk about that, okay? Right. Because exactly. I think the first couple of weeks, we all just. Eight. But I think oh, it was that due to, to do. I think it was due to the mass population emptying out everything in the grocery store. So we had the mentality yeah. of I have to grab everything that I can get. Yeah. And once we got it, and we were at home, we were like, okay, well, 
twiddling in our fingers and our thumbs, and we're like, well, what are we going to do? Right. I know that dude, that refrigerator's there, so right. that was the first thing yes. that we went to. And I was yes. the first couple weeks. Yes, well, yes. It, it right. still <laughs> continues. Oh, <laughs> like what about the toilet paper? Oh, oh get the toilet paper, paper no. towels. <laughs> you know, I didn't quite understand that. That yeah. analogy yeah. with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would think yeah. bottled water, yeah. but when I heard, wow, toiletries, I was like, wow, yeah. that's oh, different. It was very different, but I can say, ladies, luckily, as some of you know, I coupon, so oh. I actually had toilet paper and paper towels and napkins, oh, so that know. part yeah. didn't hit me, but what really drew close to home was, I believe, the first week that mm -hmm. we were told that we were supposed to be at home and I went to the grocery store mm -hmm. and the one that I went to, not only did they empty out the paper towels and the waters, it was the meats as well too. Oh, wow. And I'm like, interesting. Yeah, it, it got really scary. Interesting. So I said, okay. I said, you know, I eat vegetarian. I said, I'm still in the game. And I remember walking down the aisle and I think I turned to my right. And I see this lady whose cart was stocked with watermelons and peaches and grapefruits. <laughs> so she I had all the like, stuff. The good stuff. I said, I got to out. I got to be her. I ran so quick to the vegetable section and fruit section and cleared out the aisle. But it's funny how we all took that mentality, right. which was right. very strange. Right. And shocking. Because we didn't know. We, we just, didn't we know. Didn't, we had no idea. Absolutely. We At that point, we were all feeding that right. uh, off of the media. Right. You better go get some toilet. <laughs> better get lights on. So the hand true. sanitizer is so running short. short. It's running short. Right. So, do you guys know anyone who was affected by COVID nineteen? Hmm. Well, thank goodness, mm -hmm. not firsthand, mm -hmm. but I do have family members and friends who share that they knew people personally. Yeah. Oh. But at this stage of the game, thank goodness, I don't know anybody mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. What about you? I would have to say. It didn't hit close to home with myself, mm -hmm. but I would have to say when it came down to associates or uh, family members who were on the opposite side of the family, for example, mm -hmm. um, an elderly couple mm -hmm. who never left their home, wow. but they had teenagers staying with them. Wow. And unfortunately, wow. teenagers had to go out, they had to work and they were in and out of the house oh. and it affected the uh, elderly couple to where as the entire household um, contracted, contracted oh, the, the, wow. so wow. you know it was, it was very terrible mm -hmm. and also too uh with um dealing with um church and the prayer line it was so much to handle with many different people, family members, wow. friends, co-workers who were affected to where it was overwhelming. Oh, and it's like you wanted to physically do something or maybe go into the hospitals and have some type of touch contact, but what could we what do? Could. Or even hug the person in yes. church, which is a common social uh, um, thing that right. we do and then so now we so we can't right. shake mm -hmm. hands we have to yes. elbow it right. I mean yes. everything is just totally different now. yes it is. Yes. yes and the same with me I, people uh, I know certain people uh, but no one in my family yes that you know they got really sick or couldn't taste or smell the food mm -hmm. and they decided to get tested and it was positive right. and they were quarantined for for between 14 and 30 days. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's been really, really strange. It's, right. it's like we're living in a strange time. Yeah, it's Twilight Zone. Right. Twilight Zone. <laughs> and, it's, and it's good that we all have to keep in mind that no one is exempt. Right. We, exactly. Either one of us right. can we're all on be faced with yes. it at any time. Basically, we're all on the same on level. The same level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone is, is on the same level. Very true. For the first time, in, in history, is almost like everyone is on the same level, right. being able to catch. It doesn't it, it matter what your be. economic status well, is, well, exactly. or your culture or background. This right. is a worldwide pandemic yeah. that we never right. saw coming. Right. Never so saw how coming. has it affected your lives? How has things changed for you since this happened? You know what? I had to learn how to adapt. And the way that helped me to adapt was basically realizing that 
Um, even though we were uh, quarantined, we still had to maintain some type of healthy communication and healthy relationships. Exactly. So how are we going to do that when we were mandated to stay at home? Thank goodness for uh, social, uh, social, social media. media. Because <laughs> I took advantage of the Zoom app. Okay. So I was able to Zoom family members and Zoom friends which was very important to maintain that relationship and maintain that connection yes. because we need that to thrive and survive and to remain healthy. healthy. So, you know, it was pretty awesome. So our church service, for example, we were able to do that via a Zoom, Zoom where it was Bible yeah. study or regular church service. I also had the opportunity to take a part of exercising groups, which was via Zoom as well. Mm -hmm. I continued on with my praise dance I've actually started a personal Bible study. Oh, word. So that's what helped me that's to be able to adapt in a healthy way. And we're still adapting, if yes. we were to be honest, to this very present. And we will be adapting the rest of our lives because this is truly the new normal. Now, ways that I learned how to adapt very energetic, I had to learn how to just relax and be still. Yeah. You don't yes. have to leave the house today. Be yes. quarantined for real today. Yes. And, and it gave me a greater appreciation of my job. Yes. You know, some, so many times we, right. think we take things for granted. Right. And it gave me an opportunity to bond and catch up with what's going on yes. in, with the family yes. and close yes. friends. Yes. And it gave me a wonderful opportunity to work in my yard. So, uh, <laughs> and that is very relaxing. It's yes. very relaxing. Yes. Being out in nature, just sitting on the porch, sitting in the backyard, just, you know, you know, inhaling and exhaling and saying, hey, hey, yeah. taking in, yeah. I'm still here. Wow. You know, the corona, you know, yeah. hasn't gotten to me. And just yes. thank goodness for all my blessings. Yeah. Absolutely. And speaking of fresh air, this changed my life with this mask. Oh. Because we have to, Okay. Wearing his mask everywhere right? now. Yeah. So this definitely has affected us, you know, yes, trying to speak with the mask yeah. on. And, Absolutely. Uh, and it's uncomfortable. Work. It's a little right. bit uncomfortable. Right. So it, there's a lot of things that that's a new norm for us. Yes. We have to um, adapt to a new way of doing things. Well, even here at the library, we're not open to full capacity. Correct. So we're doing the best we, we can. can. Yeah. With what, what we best have service. to work with. Yes. 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 So we all came in with positive attitudes, yes. knowing yes. that today is a new day, it's a new day. because it's the new norm. It's and it's great day. to be able to see our patrons come in and yes. see yes. them face right. to face. Even though we're not fully open, but it makes me so elated to see people yes. who I haven't seen in yes. the United States. Yes. 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 And yes. they were glad to see us yes. too. So yes. it's always fabulous yes. and mutual. Yes. Especially when we can help our community. Absolutely. Yes. That's what we're here for. Exactly what we're here for. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. <laughs> Please share with us some of your experiences during the pandemic by responding to the comments below. Thank you, stay safe, and have a great day. And I also want to let you guys know, if you need more information about the coronavirus, factual information, please visit www.cdc.gov. Thank you. And don't forget to continue to support your community libraries. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>